Hey guys, Ben Funderburg, Hey Man Fishing. I'm in Cherokee, North Carolina. I'm gonna show you at least three spots that you need to hit while you're up here off of Big Cove Road. Now I'm on uh, Sherrill Cove Road, uh, the opposite side of Big Cove Road. Big Cove Road's right over here, but we over here, it's better access on this side, and I'll leave that all in the description. Actually, coming up the mountain, you come up to Big Cove, the, uh, the, the bridge, uh, Sherrill Cove Bridge, go across it then you when you cross it take a left and go about a mile and you'll find this place right in here it's a place you can pull over and you can walk we're gonna walk down this way to fish a lot of area to cover you can give it a try off of Sherl Cove Road let's go down there and, and try it and uh, mainly this video is shows you spots so we're gonna hit this spot and then we'll hit two more next time you're in Cherokee to try Stay with me. All right, now I'm walking down from my truck. See where my truck's parked right here. So just walk down here. You got a big old gravel rock. I say a rock. There's a lot of rocks here. Rock Island. And uh, heck, I think we're going to start right over here. The water's kind of shallow. Let me throw in this area right here. That's some uh, cabins right here to my right. See up there? And we'll throw right in here. And then I'm gonna show you that big wide area down below me. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try. Let's throw over here on these. Now, it's November. And uh, keep in mind, they're not stocking. They had a uh, that flooding in the raceway. Actually, the the fall harvest that that what they were going to put in here got washed out in here. I don't know how many fish died or survived. Um, so anyway, we're going to see if we can find some fish by just throwing out here. We don't know if any of them survive, but I believe, according to reports, some people's catching them, catching a, a lot of them. Now I'm using a, a blue fox. Y'all seen me use that thing several times, uh, fishing in my other videos in Cherokee. Primarily, that's what I use. Uh, had good success on it they just they just gonna hit it and now my rule is to cast a few times and move on down because if they anywhere close by they're gonna get it all right we're gonna take up here and we're gonna walk on down to the end of these rocks this this little rock island, and, and I'll show you the place I'm, I intend on where I was meant for you to come to to fish. All right, I'm coming to the end of the rock pile. Right in front of me is a tree in the water. See that down there? And we're gonna walk down past that tree. You probably, I could have probably parked a little closer right off the road, but that part back where I parked is gravel. I mean, it's a place set up to park all right I just got past that tree now from here all the way down the next hundred yards is where you want to fish see how that water comes out around that tree that's a good spot now Let's try to fish a little bit. When you're in here fishing, just be extra careful with the leaves. Cause you'll step out in some leaves under the water thinking it's solid and it ain't. And there you go.
Okay, I think we're gonna get one. Just, you know, them times when you just like, this feels good, man. Oh, oh look at what did I tell you, boys? If I can bring him on up here, got one already. And I, what did I tell you? I said it felt good. Mm -hmm. Felt good. So let's bring him on up here. He ain't no biggie. There you go. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Over in Cherokee. Now, you catch trout year round in Cherokee in the catch and uh, keep area, except for two weeks in March. The last two weeks in March, and they kick off the season with a tournament the last Saturday in uh, March. And if you've never done a tournament, uh, I'd like to challenge you to go come out and do that. You'll have fun, bring your kids in, and everybody has an equal chance of winning. Sometimes I think it's like uh, $20,000 worth of fish tagged up and uh, put out. $25, $50 fish, $100 fish, $500 fish. Everybody has an equal chance. All right, we're going to come down. Actually, we're going to come down about 20 feet. Right in here, right over here is where I caught that one there. So now we're going to move on down. But the strategy would be to work your way all the way down like this. Don't, oh, there he is right there. Look at there, buddy. Now, that's a little bit better fish here. I don't know if y'all see him. If I can get him, keep him he's coming up. Oh, he's wanting to come out of the water on me. Come on up here. Yeah, he comes around here. Yeah. Come on. We'll get him over here and we'll get him up in here. Yeah. Pretty fish. Look at, Look at that. How pretty that fish is. This is that purple on there. That's beautiful. This is more like showing you the places of fish. I'm not making really making a fishing video to try to catch this. If I catch some, that's good. But I want to show you where to fish. Now all this is my opinion now. I've been up here enough to feel like I got a good handle on where they're at and the places of fish. I just had a hit right there. I just felt him pull it. I'm gonna throw back over there. Let me throw back down there. See if I can get him. All right, let's run it through there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Told you. He ain't no biggie. I felt him pull it. Come on up here, buddy. He's little. Somebody said to me one time, is there a size limit on them? No, there's no size limit. They grow them at least 12 inches and then they just drop them in the water. They, well, I say 12, eight to 12 inches, they go ahead and put them in the water, different sizes. All right, here we go. Not no biggie. All right, this place in here, give it a try. Next time you're here. All right, let's go to our next spot. Okay, what you want to do, cross this bridge right here. And uh, you'll see the sign right here, Cheryl Cove Road. Cross that bridge and take a left and go to about a mile down the road on the left. It's the place I just fished. Look for the parking right here. Actually, here you go. Uh, good landmark. You'll see the Yogi Bear. Three more miles, you can park right in here. But you'd have to walk out across there to get up there. And that's where I'm. Fi that's where I was fishing just now. But I parked off of Sherwood Cove Road on the other side. All right. Let's go to our next spot. 
All right, guys, here's your number two spot on this episode that you need to fish. Over here, I got uh, Pentecostal Church. Now, behind the Pentecostal Church, I've already done a video. There's an area over there that's pretty, pretty water. It's flat, easy to get to. It's in one of my other uh, uh, episodes. But what I want to focus on today is this water out in front of the church starting right here where these rapids are dropping into the water all the way down and then you see how you got really two good spots down here uh the water's a little bit deep on the first set of uh, waterfalls and then you got like a, a second set where the water gets kind of deep you want to fish all this in here and that's what we're getting ready to do we're going down there and try to hit it a little bit and uh see if we can pick up a trout or two Okay, guys, we are up here. This first set where I want to fish. You see where my truck is? Easy parking right there in the church. Just let it roll in there a little bit. If he's in there, you're going to get it right off. Now the water's pretty, the current's pretty strong. If he's down in there, he's gonna grab it. Alright, hit it. Hit it a few times, let's move on down. Alright, we're gonna fish right in here. We'll toss it right out there. All right, we're going to move on. All right, here's this other area. Got a pretty good current in here. But I will start up there and work my way down in the steeper water. We're going to get down there and we're going to end up throwing some red worms in there. Now, this is not good access. You're going to do some climbing. Got to do some climbing over rocks to get in here. All right. Ooh, I'm wore out, guy. I'm going to blame it on being older. Now, come down here to the second spot. Walk down the road. You'll see that little path right in there. But you use your rope coming down in here. All right, here's the other spot. guys look where that beaver's and worked on that tree here i mean he's more than halfway through on that but with that hell on the uh hurricane that come through here hell on the uh helena um you would think it would have uh, blown it down but it's strong enough to stay up still so anyway you got to watch out for things like that when you're fishing all right here we go Let's throw in here a few times and then we'll... There he is right there. How about that? He don't feel big. We'll take him though. There you go. Okay, try this. These two places up here and this spot right in here when you come down. And we're going to find an easier way up. Looks like I got a spot right here I can go up. All right, guys, our last place on this episode of Fishing Cherokee is right here at this place called, uh, now I'm trying to pronounce this right, Galamore Bridge. You want to hit the Galamore Bridge. Now I want to go over here and I'm going to walk down. This is a one of those places where they drop them in. 
so be sure fish any bridge that you come to this is one place you want to fish now this side over here on my right is deeper so you want to fish over here okay what I've done I've moved from over there up under the bridge over to the other side again you want to stay to the right of this bridge all right recapping guys Gailamore bridge road hit it on the right side on the big cove road side water's a little bit deeper guys thank you for hanging in there with me on this hey man fishing episode we hit three spots that you need to try when you're in cherokee hit the bridge behind me go up there to the pentecostal church hit those two deep water holes and then go down here to uh, Cheryl Cove Road on the other side of uh, Big Cove Road. You got to you guys got to turn down uh, the bridge there at Cheryl Cove. Get in there where that spot's at, and I'll put all that in the description. We talked about it earlier. So try these places. Give you a place a starting point at least. The three places I just mentioned. So if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Leave some comments if you catch fish. Until next time, guys, God bless all of you. Have a great week, and have a good time in Cherokee when you're up here. See you later.